Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK on what is a very happy and joyful day for me because for the last 12 months I've been designing a garden around encouraging and supporting wildlife and biodiversity. I've installed a wildlife pond, two wildflower meadows, a log pile, a wildlife hibernaculum which is an underground cavity where wildlife can go underneath and hibernate. I've also got several twig and stick piles and I leave a pile of grass. I don't mow the lawn and there's areas of my garden, in fact the vast majority of my garden, is left a little bit wild just to encourage wildlife and biodiversity. And in fact, only this week I published a video on my channel and I'll put a link to it at the end of this one where I explain how being a little bit messy and a little bit relaxed and not being too tidy around the garden can not only make my life easier, but make the life of nature and wildlife and biodiversity much easier. Now, let me tell you what happened to my left. Behind me, your right, is an apple tree. Underneath the apple tree is a wildflower meadow. And to my right over here, there's a big pile of twigs and branches, which is again for wildlife. You can probably see the corner of an asbestos garage. Now, I was just down there tidying up a bit, moving a few windfall apples around, and I just happened to pick up a plank. Fortunately, I had my camera with me. I generally um, take my camera around me wherever I go, just in case I see some, something. And on this occasion, when I lifted that plank up, I saw one toad and three newts, and I managed to get some footage of one of the newts as it walked away. Now the important thing to stress here is newts are a very protected species. If you see them, you're supposed to stop work, not disturb them and leave them alone. And that's exactly what I did, other than getting some footage of one of these newts. And the reason I'm delighted about this is because the whole, one of the whole points of my wildlife pond was to be able to go and do newt watch in the spring. The interesting fact about newts is a lot of people think they live in water. They don't. They spend most of their time out of the water, in the undergrowth, underneath planks, in the, in the uh, hedgerows. They only go into the water in springtime to lay their eggs for a very short period. And then, of course, those eggs become tadpoles, which develop into newts, which then go out of the pond. I understand that newts have a very strong homing instinct and the other interesting fact about frogs toads and newts is they find water in the springtime through the smell because when the water starts to warm up in the spring and it goes slightly off kilter slightly out of balance algae can develop and it can become slightly stagnant and that gives off a smell and the newts and the frogs and the toads follow that smell Anyway, I kind of digress. I'm very interested in amphibians and newts and the more I see in the garden, the better. And sometimes I come out in the garden with my torch at night looking in the grass. I do see toads quite often. I've never seen a newt until today. So I'm going to share with you the footage. There isn't a lot of footage, but you'll get the picture. You'll see what a newt looks like. Now, for scale, I'm going to tell you that that newt is about five inches long. They're not small creatures, these. You, some people think, oh, they're tiny little things like this. And they can be if they're babies or immature or adolescent. This was a big one. Um, almost as big as my pair of glasses. And uh, there was a small one with it and another medium one and a toad. And the footage I've got is of the big one wandering off, obviously going back to find some shelter somewhere. And that's fine. And I did replace the plank where it was. So that's back in situ. So if it decides to go back there this evening, it can do and I'll leave that alone. Um, it's a great crested newt. Several different species of newts. There's a palmate newt, there's a smooth newt, there's a great crested newt. And the great crested newt, I believe, is the most protected one. So I'm honoured and privileged to have these newts in my garden. Interestingly, um, if you ever try and get planning permission out in the countryside, the council will often make you go for a newt survey or a biodiversity survey just to see if it's an environment uh, where newts might exist and if it is you might have to make mitigating factors and that's for people outside of the country most people in the UK know that but if you're watching in the states or in the far east then that's what we have in the UK 
And I was talking to a farmer once and he was kind of voicing his um, disapproval of these uh, special planning rules around newts and amphibians and he said that he probably kills more newts running over the fields in his tractor than ever get disturbed by planning applications but that's by the by you're probably waiting with bated breath to see this new footage i've rambled on long enough i'll run the footage in uh, real time speed and then i'll run it several times in slow motion so that you can get a good view of what a great crested newt looks like and then I'll leave you in peace. Hope you enjoy this footage. I'm thoroughly excited by it. Bye for now. Oh my God, it's a newt. I'm sorry, I've just blasphemed. Uh, I've just picked up a plank in the garden and there's a newt there, can you see it? Uh, now I'm not supposed to disturb it, but I do have my camera with me, so I'll just get some footage of it. And while it sits there, oh, it's on the move. It's making good its escape, can you see? Look at that, that's a great crested newt. It's about four or five inches long. Look at that, amazing. Let's see if we can get a close up. Now, this is significant because I've designed my whole garden around encouraging these things. And I hope they were there, but there is one right in front of our eyes. And I'm not disturbing it any more than I already had done. Uh, it was under a plank, which I just lifted up. And I will put the plank back where I found it, but this is clearly familiar with this area and it seems to know where it's going there we are can you see that newt i'm not going to touch it i'm not going to do anything other than observe it in fact i might put the plank over it that it was originally under and uh, leave it in peace but there we go look a great crested newt there were three newts and i told when i lifted the plank up but uh, this is the only one i've managed to get on camera and it's it seems to be heading over there for the shelter of those leaves and that's where it can go um, they do come out at night to spend most of the day sheltered and unfortunately I've disturbed it but um, it can go and hide under there look now this might be the last we see of it because once it disappears I'm not going to touch it or disturb it and it's there underneath those leaves and I hope I've got some good footage of the newt. I apologise again for blaspheming. And uh, I apologise for the sound quality on this portion of the video because I'm not carrying my external mic with me. But there we are. A great crested newt in my garden.